I'm finally back with spring get ready with me edition. I'm gonna name this whole look it's spring darling This look is very sweet and wearable and every time I look at it It just reminds me of spring with a touch of warm eyeshadow color on the eyes and really pretty peachy pink color on the lips This look is very easy to achieve I've been wearing it almost every single day during my trip in Japan and also in Indonesia So hope you guys find this video helpful and let's get ready together For foundation, I'm gonna use this Bourjois Healthy Mix Anti-Fatigue Foundation and I'm gonna apply it with the sponge that I got from Boots. I've been really in love with this sponge, you guys. It's amazing and I think it's better than Beauty Blender. And I'm just gonna dot the foundation on the left side of my face. Oh my god, you guys, I really love this foundation because it doesn't have any darkening. The color of this foundation match my skin perfectly. I love how this one goes from light to medium and it can also be buildable all the way to full. This foundation has dewy finish which I really like and what impressed me the most when I first wore this foundation, it didn't change at all from the morning that I wore it till nighttime. So I really like how long lasting it is and it doesn't go cakey on my face. I discovered this foundation when I was at Boots one day. I actually bought their concealer first and I was so in love. I went back the next day and bought the foundation. It's just so really amazing, you guys. No one actually told me it was just an accidental discovery and I ended up really liking it. Oh, uh, Ja. <laughs> Guys, I just realized I take so long to just apply one freaking foundation on my face. Oh my god, girl, get it over with. Come on. Now to set my foundation, I'm gonna take this powder for room by So Natural and this is the holding finish powder and I'm gonna take my 201 powder brush from Misha that I've been really loving lately. I noticed that these two products work really well together. I love how this brush picks up the product really well. It doesn't over pick the products and it just gives you really nice like silky finish on your skin when it comes to powder. And I really love how small the powder is. Very travel friendly, does its job and it just mattifies your skin. Lovely. Let's move on to brows. I'm gonna take the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I've been really loving this brow pencil because it's very thin and I love how it's really easy to work with and I've just been reaching out to this one almost every single day. I think it's just because it was very thin and it's just easy to work with. Nothing else. I still really like the straight brow look so I'm just gonna fill my eyebrows and just make it a little bit more straighter and make it look more neat. I don't like going really deep or dark with my brows, so I'm just gonna fill it in very lightly to make it look more natural. Moving on to the eyes, we're gonna take 3CE Mood Recipe Multi Eye Color Palette in color Overtake. I'm gonna mix these two colors together and apply it on the outer V of my eyes. I like to start my eye makeup routine with this because it just makes my eyes look a lot deeper and more defined. The combination of these two colors actually creates a little bit of an orange tone brown which I've been really loving lately. It makes the eyes look bigger but at the same time it's not too overwhelming because sometimes some brown colors are too dark and some brown colors are too light but this one is right in the middle with a little hint of orange. I'm also going to apply the same color on the lower outer V to make sure the color connects and it doesn't look awkward because sometimes when you don't apply it on the lower outer V, it does kind of make it look really awkward. And now ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to my favorite glitter eyeshadow and it's from the Sam. It's the Eco Soul Glam Eyes in color Peach Run. This color is a beautiful light rose gold color. I love how this one just shines when you look down and I love applying it right on the middle of my eyelid. Glitter eyeshadows in general, when you apply it on the middle of your eyelid, makes the whole look more fuller, especially your eyes in a good way. And it makes the whole look more romantic and girly. Going back to the brown eyeshadow color, I'm just gonna apply it one more time on the outer V to make the look a little bit more deeper and more defined.
For eyeliner, we're gonna come in with Clio Sharp So Simple Waterproof Pencil Liner in brown that I've been using for years. You guys know how much I love this eyeliner. I love using this to tight line my eyes. This pencil liner is just really easy to work with. I really don't like when eyeliner is really hard to work with and they're really stiff. Now let's move on to liquid eyeliner. Here I'm gonna use the Kiss Me eyeliner in color brown. I'm just gonna line my eyes normally and towards the end, I'm gonna wing it up a little bit. I don't like winging it too much at the end because it just makes the whole look more harsh and more edgier. We're gonna make it really subtle. It's kind of like semi cat eye but not really kind of look. It looks very flirty but at the same time stale girly. Now time for Egyosa Glitter. I'm gonna use this Pia Glitter Eyeliner. This one is in number 6. It has a little bit of a subtle champagne kind of color. A little bit on the gold side but still very wearable and I love applying this towards the inner corner and also the middle part of my Egyosa. Or normally we call it eye bags and I just really like doing this because it just makes me look young. But you know, I still like kind of like semi-mature and young look somewhere in between. You know that kind of look so I'm just gonna apply this on my inner corner and also in the middle part of my egg yosa. For mascara, I'm not gonna go too much on this because I've talked about this mascara in every single one of my Get Ready With Me video. I really like the long and curl one especially these days because it just makes it look really long. At the same time, it does its job in volumizing as well. And it's waterproof. Who doesn't like waterproof mascara, right? Last long and even if you cry, it will not budge. For blush, I'm gonna take this Gucci Sheer Blushing Powder in Nude Freesia. I really like this color, you guys. It's very romantic and it's really subtle pink color with a little touch of coral. It is slightly on the warmer side but I still love this because it just makes your cheek look glowy and blushing in a healthy way and it's just really cute. So definitely highly recommend this blush if you guys are interested and if you guys are a blush lover like me. Love this color so much. Recently, I discovered this product from Dr. Althea. Althea? Oh my god, I'm so sorry guys if I said it wrong. Dancing in Monaco has a beautiful pinky peach color. Very wearable and I would highly recommend you guys to check this line out because they're amazing. They last really long. Definitely really easy color to work with and especially if you guys are on the go, this is the color that you guys should have in your makeup bag. Are finally done I hope you guys enjoy my get ready with me talk through video me just chit chatting with you guys it's been a while I'm so sorry if I'm really talkative but I miss you all hope you guys enjoyed today's get ready with me video and subscribe if you guys haven't and like this video if you guys love get ready with me and I'll be back with more interesting ones Annyeong!